Welcome to the setup guide for United States Postal Service shipping plugin for WooCommerce. Hi, I'm Sean, and I'm one of the guys here at ExtensionWorks. Today, I'm going to walk you through the installation and configuration of your new plugin. So, the topics today we're going to cover are installation and activation, a really quick configuration that will get up and running within less than two minutes, some testing of your rates, then some more advanced settings, and then finally, some frequently asked questions. Okay, so let's get started. Here I have a basic installation of WordPress along with WooCommerce. I've done some very basic settings so far, so I've changed the base location along with the currency. Next, I want to now add my new plugin. Select Add New, choose Upload, find my file, and click on Install Now. Click on Activate, and here's some important information. I'm now being asked to install the ExtensionWorks framework, so let's go ahead and do that. This will go and grab the latest version off the internet and install it as a standard plugin. Click on Activate. Next, I need to go and add my license key, so click on Dashboard. Extension works and add my license key. And finally, click on activate. Okay, that's all we have to do for now. Okay, now that you've done your installation and activation of your USPS plugin, let's head over and do our quick installation. WooCommerce, Settings, Shipping. Now I'm going to show you a quick configuration for US Postal Service. This will be only applicable if all your items are less than 12 inches in size. Okay, so now let's make sure it's enabled. The origin postcode is set to the applicable postcode. Your availability of which countries to send them to. In this instance, I'm only going to put United States, but you can select as many or as little as you need. I'm going to head down to the bottom and make sure that my USPS flat rate boxes is active and turned on, and I've turned on all services. These are on by default, but as you can see, I can go and select the ones that I'd like to turn off. One word of warning about changing any of these is that they are not required to be changed and therefore can render some, some very bizarre and some weird outcomes for US Postal Service. You'll also see here that some of them have been ticked as a letter. I'll go and explain that more in the extended configuration. But for now, let's head to the bottom Click our Save Changes. There's a couple of warnings there which is good for us for later on. Okay, now that's saved, let's head to the front end of our website. And let's check to see if that worked. Let's head over to Shop. I'm going to add a small item into my cart. And as you can see, Based on location, I've been able to obtain a rate straight away. So that's the quick installation. Now it's time for me to show you in more detail the configuration of the US Postal Service plugin. Okay. So we've already I'm assuming you've already installed and enabled. Um, here you can change the method title, um, which will be shown on the front end of your website. Again, I'll assume that you've already put your postcode in uh, and you've already selected what country you'll be shipping to. I'll come back to debug mode right at the very end, but that is a very, very important component. 
Handling fee and discount fee is pretty self-explanatory. You can either add a percentage markup or a fixed uh, dollar amount as a markup and you can apply it if you like as a handling fee at the value of the cart as well. Uh, letter mail is something that we've added only just recently also. Um, and, and the way we, we do that is inside the products, you have to tick the box to make sure it's letter and then also ensure that any of the products, services that is, um, is selected as a letter. For instance, any of the flat rate options here that you do have at least one or two of those on top of that, uh, if you are using any other services uh, that you would like to use boxes for, this is the area that we would add boxes to. So for instance, let's go and add a box right now. Just a really simple box, uh, 10 by 10 by 10. I'd expect that you'd be a little bit more exact than I am at the moment. Box weight is only one pound, and I'm gonna say 50 pounds and it's a 10 by 10 by 10 box. Uh, and here I could also select that as a letter option as well. In this instance, I'm not going to do that. But if you have multiple boxes, you can add as many or as little as you need in here. Once you've, once you've ticked these boxes here, then move down to ticking and selecting the shipping methods here that you would like to use. This is applicable for all of the boxes that you would set up above and the shipping services that are available. In this instance, I'm not gonna go ahead and change any of those, but again, I'll walk through this. You can change the name, select the services, and adjust the prices accordingly if you'd like to have them a markup on those as well. Down further, you can select what style of um, rate you would like if you'd only like to show the cheapest or the highest or all in this instance i'll leave all and in particular what order now some people like to show the highest to lowest in this instance i'll do that one other thing here i'd also recommend you do is remove the word feedback and call it something else like maybe a flat rate um, i need to spell flat rate and then maybe make it uh, 25 dollars this will show up only if there is no rates being able to apply for all of the services that you've selected above, being it might be either too big a box um, or that there's no applicable shipping rate. Next, I'll select, I'll deselect a few of these, not that this will matter probably, but again, you can go and customize these and turn these on and off as applicable as well. I'm going to save that. Now let's head to the front end and see if there's any difference from before. Let's add, add a couple of extra items in here. I'll head to the cart now. Now there we go. Standard post, $73.52. That's, what's happened here is we've boxed up based on the size of the box that I've provided and a standard rate, a standard post rate has come back from US Postal Service of $73.52. The final thing I wanted to show you is, is debug. Debug's um, very helpful if you are looking to understand what's happening behind the scenes. It can be a bit, a bit overwhelming at times, but let me assure you, it can be very helpful. Now, while that's saving, I'll head over here, I'll refresh this page here, and now, as you can see here, it's, a, it's told me I've got two shippable products. Um, I've I'm making sure that they're in the right um, the right dimensions and weight format. And now we start to look at um, what items are being used and what boxes are being used. And here you can see box packing cannot find suitable containers for 22 and 20. And then the rate is provided. I'll 
of $73. That's something very handy for you to understand if you are looking to work out what's happening. You can toggle that on and off at any given time. And finally, I'll provide links to our three most commonly asked questions, which are, why do my rates seem so high compared to my online pricing? Also, how do extension works go and pack my items? And last but not least, the most common one actually, really, is dimensions and weight must always be added to your products. Mm -hmm.